Hello and welcome to Jam's channel. Today we are looking at uh, signalling, um, but only one specific type of signalling, um, which is block signalling. So here's my test area. Um, I've just fenced off a bit of land um, just to stop any any mobs from getting in there and causing havoc. So I've got a chest here. Um, which contains all the stuff you need for that simple circuit. Um, as you can see in this list here, I've got the stuff you can find in, in the vanilla version of Minecraft. So you've got redstone torches, powered rails, normal rails, and obviously minecarts. Then we come on to the signalling. So we've got the signal tuner, the signal block surveyor, and the block signal. I'll tell you what all we need to do in a minute. Then we've got the holding rail. Um, and the switch row, which you saw in the previous video, if you watched it. And then we've got some other bits. So you've got the signal controller box, the signal receiver box, the switch motor, and obviously the crowbar, because we're going to need that um, in most applications of Railcraft. First thing to do is we're going to need to make a circle of track. Now it doesn't have to be a circle, but for the purposes of this video um, it will be a lot easier um, to help you understand what's going on. So I'm just going to get that lamp out of my inventory. And so we're going to take a few of these, a few of those, and a few of those. Uh, just to build a really, really simple circuit. <laughs> We've got our basic circuit. Uh, I've just put a few powered rails down just to uh, power up the minecarts so they don't stop. And the next thing to do is to get some switch rails and the holding rail out of uh, the chest. So we just need two switch rails and one holding rail. And we're going to put one switch roughly at the start of these powered rails and one at the end. So there we go. Now don't forget, in order to change the direction of these uh, switch rails, you just right click on them using the crowbar. So that one's going fine, that's the direction we want it. But we're going to need to change this one direction so it goes in that kind of direction. Um, so we just right click, there we go, it's in the right direction. And we're just going to build a loop, uh, which is basically uh, a closed siding, uh, to put it simply. So we can do that. Like so. So there we go, we've got a loop, which is this bit here. Um, now technically this bit here, straight section, is called the main line. Um, so this whole over bit is the main line, and this is the loop. And halfway through this, roughly, we're going to put a holding rail. Um, and we're not going to power it or anything, we're just going to leave it like that. So, the next stage, um, so we're just going to put our leftover bits in the chest, because I'm in creative mode, it hasn't, obviously I haven't got rid of these, um, and we're going to need to get out a switch motor, a um, signal receiver, and a signal controller for the next bit. So we take them out, uh, now the problem with these is, the signal controller and the signal receiver look very similar. There's a green dot on the controller and a red dot on the receiver. Um, but once you've placed them, they'll look exactly the same. So it's quite hard to tell. Um, however, there is a way to tell when you put them down, which I'll show you in a second. So what we need to do is we need to find the receiver, which is the one with the red dot. I'm going to put it, uh, plonk it down here in this square where my cursor is. Um, so right next to the the holding rail. Now of course you can put it here and put a redstone, uh, a bit of redstone dust down there, but you know, it works like this. And now we're going to need the other one, which is the signal controller box, and we're going to put it right next to it, like that. Um, so you can see they both look exactly the same. 
Now, in order to tell, to tell which is which, all you do is right click on them using the crowbar. And it will tell you at the top here. Ignore that for now, I'll go over that in a minute. Um, okay, so, uh, we're going to need to put down our switch motor. So, the mycots will be travelling in this direction, going towards there. So we're going to need to put it on this switch rail. Um, so we can divert some of the minecarts that way if we need to. Okay, it's all going straight forward so far. So I'm going to put these back in so I look clean here. And we're going to get out um, our block signal, our signal block surveyor, and our signal tuner. Um, which are pretty much the last things in the chest. Now, um, some more technical terms. Uh, but don't be worried because we're not hard to, it's not hard to explain. So these are block signals. Uh, make sure you get the block signals and not uh, not these, which are the distance signals. Um, so make sure you get the block signal, uh, which you find just over halfway down your inventory. Uh, that's how I remember. Um, we need to place one here. Um, and then one at the other end of this straight section here. So, you know, anywhere will do. Roughly about there will be fine. Now you can see that they're blinking, they're both blinking red. This means they're not assigned to each other. Um, now, when you assign them, the section between the two signals becomes a block section. Um, so basically a block section is any straight bit of rail between two signals. Um, but because I haven't assigned the signals, it's not a block section yet. So, how do we how do we match the signals up? Well, we use what's called the signal block surveyor. Um, so hold it in your hand, right click on either signal, doesn't matter, and you'll see bottom left it says beginning signal block survey. So you go over to the next one and right click that one. And there you go, we've defined the signal block. So now that section of the track is now officially a block. Um, now you see it's, um, the light on it is now green. The light on the signal is called an aspect. Okay. Now a green aspect, so in other words a green light, means there's no minecart in that section. So in the gap between the two signals, there's no minecart. So the signals are green on both ends. Now, if they were yellow, it would mean um, the mine car is moving away from the signal you're looking at. Um, if it's red, it means there's a mine car in the section, and it's either stopped or it's coming towards you. Um, so it depends on which signal you're at as to which aspect will be displayed. So they won't both show the same aspect. Um, all the time. So that's just to simplify that a little bit. It's fairly straightforward. I'll put up a little note at the top of the screen just to remind you. So we've now got our our signal block, our sets in the track, and so I'm just going to show you what happens if I put um, a minecart in the signal block. So let's get one out of my inventory. Um, we're just going to place it on the track after the signal, and it's turned to red. If I quickly fly over here, you'll see they are both on red. There you go. Now, if I was to push it um, away from me, you will see that this one will be yellow, it's going away. And as it leaves, it goes green. So just watch the state, watch the aspects of the signal. So it's yellow because it's going away from us. And it's red because it's now stopped. Okay? So it's all very straightforward. Now obviously it looks like I'm going to need to put in, you know, maybe maybe another powered rail in here. Because it's not quite reaching it. So I'm just going to put in a couple more in. Uh, just to be sure. There we go. So that should work fine now. So as you can see, uh, it's still working. Right. Now the tricky bit. Now, you may remember we placed down both our signal controller and our signal receiver. 
the receiver being the one by the holding rail. Uh, now let me remind you about the holding rail. When the holding rail is unpowered, like at this state, it will grip onto any cart that goes over it and stop it from moving. And you can't push it at all. When it's powered, it will launch the minecart in the direction that the minecart was pushed into it. Um, so, basically what we're aiming to do here is when there is a minecart in this section and there is another one coming towards here, in this direction, um, we want it to route the other minecart onto the loop uh, right next to the signal receiver. Where we want to hold the minecart there until this minecart on this track has cleared this end signal. Then uh, we want the minecart over there to suddenly be released, i.e. for the holding rail to be turned on, and then for it to continue its journey, and the process happens again. So that's what our events way is. And so how do we do that? Well, these two are both flashing red, which means they're not assigned. Um, so the first thing we need to do is get this item, which is a signal tuner. Uh, we need to right click on the signal controller, and then right click on the receiver. And that will link the two. Then, we need to right click on the uh, controller, and then right click on the point motor, and that will pair the two. So both the switch motor and the, the controller are paired. Now we need to change uh, change the settings. So if we use our crowbar, I'm going to right click on the receiver. So it says emit redstone for aspects. So what we want is we want to turn the holding rail on when the signal is green. So that's correct as it is, so that's fine. So the next job is to pair uh, the first signal. So right click on it and then pair it with the receiver. And remember the receiver is won by the holding rail. So there we go, we paired it and they're now both green, which means we've done it correctly. And then they're all assigned. So we want to change the switch motor so that it's showing yellow and red. You can see they're highlighted now. Um, the reasoning behind this is that when the signal is either yellow or red, so there's already a minecart in the section in other words, we want the other minecart to switch direction and go that way. Which is why that's set to yellow and red. Um, we need to make sure this is set to red. Um, so, in other words, when this is when the signal is red, it sends a signal to the switch motor to change direction. This is set. The signal receiver is set at green, so that when the section is clear, um, the holding rail can be activated and, and the minecart can be safely on its way. So that's the configuration you're looking for in this particular setup. Um, so hopefully all we need to do now is test it and it should work. It might take a while to get the, the right separation time for the minecart, so I'm just going to go for about there, see if that works. Okay, so let me explain what's happening. So, let's watch the next minecart. So we've got this minecart in the red section, and because this is on red, it's sending the other minecart into the loop. When it's in the loop, it waits at the holding rail until the signal is green, letting it know it can continue on its way. So whenever the signal is red, the minecart will be swapped into the holding rail. Whenever the signal is green, it will be released. So, I hope that's made it clearer. Um, hopefully I haven't confused you. If you have any problems, um, or want help, leave a comment um, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Bye!